Hello and welcome to part two of the two-part tutorial on how to take uh, an Eosheen E011 or a JJRC H67 uh, ducted quadcopter and uh, convert it to an outdoor flyer by uh, uh, putting it uh, onto a carbon fiber uh, X-frame. In this case, the Lantian 105. Uh, we'll be needing the motors that uh, come with the E011 or the, uh, or the H67. And we'll be needing the grommets that uh, mount the motor into the frame. So the first thing that we want to do is... Uh, this first step is to take the grommets and put them into the frame. Gonna squeeze them in there. Now if you've got the uh, grommets seated correctly, they should uh, kind of, if you put your fingers on them, they should turn in the frame. And uh, that means that none of the uh, grommets uh, lips are uh, like we snagged kind of uh, not there on uh, either side of the frame as they should. Now the, the turning of the motors, or the turning of the grommet is uh, an undesirable thing so what you want to do uh, after the build is just take uh, some CA glue also known as super glue and use that uh, you can use uh, gelled uh, super glue so it might be easier to apply and uh, put that between uh, so the grommet lips and the frames to kind of keep the grommets from turning at all. Now with the grommets in place we can now put uh, the motors into the quad and uh, note that the uh, this this part here is the front of the quad and uh, we have to put the motors in basically paying attention to whether they're uh, clockwise or counterclockwise. The uh, top left will be uh, the motor with the Clockwise, I believe, with the a red and a blue wire, and then the one that uh, is in the front right will be one with uh, black and white wire, so uh, counterclockwise, and then on the uh, back it will be the opposite with the back left having a uh, motor with the black and white wire and the right having a motor with the blue and red wire. Now with the motors seated in the grommet uh, what you want to do next is uh, take the top plate of the frame and then take the flight controller that in the first part we prepared and we're going to want to uh, attach the flight controller to the top plate. And in the first part of the video tutorial I said that uh, to do that you would need some M2 standoffs but uh, I've actually discovered uh, a very easy method that uh, is uh, much less of a hassle than using standoffs. So basically this method involves just using some uh, foam with uh, adhesive on the other side, uh, which I'll link to in the description of the video. 
And you take this foam and you first uh, cut it in half. Doesn't have to be exact, just, uh, just cut it in half. And then take one of the halves and cut it in half again. And you get these two skinny bits. I'll put the, uh, the other half to the side for now. And you take these, uh, take one of the skinny bits and take the adhesive off. And put that adhesive on the top of the flight controller uh, to the, on one of the sides. I've got it right near the, the antenna here. Take the uh, backing off the other half here, and put that also on the flight controller. Doesn't have to be uh, neat and tidy, just get it on there. Okay, so we've got two pieces of double-sided adhesive. Now we're going to kind of attach this to the top plate and the uh, back of the top plate is where the hole is so the uh, antenna is going to go through the uh, one of these little kind of long holes in the top plate so we put it through there and uh, we want to try to get the this little uh, tab here on the front of the flight controller. We want to kind of get that flush with the front of this top plate and just try to get it, uh, get it centered when you stick it onto the top plate. Uh, what we'll do next is we'll take uh, the standoffs and attach them with the screws that come with the kit. And the easiest way to do that is just push the screw through and then uh, screw the standoff onto the screw. Okay, now with the uh, standoffs uh, attached to the top plate, we'll want to plug the motors um, into the flight controller plugs. So uh, you want to, as you're plugging uh, the motors in, you want to pay attention to the length of the wire to the motors, and uh, you can kind of look at uh, how I'm doing it to kind of get an idea here. That the front motor, I haven't had to wrap it around the wire much because there's not really much extra wire because the flight control is a bit back on the top plate. I'll plug this in here, a little tricky. Okay, got that in there. Let's see if my wire wrapping is gonna work. Yeah, that, uh, that should work out all right. And, uh, I'm gonna do the other side here.
Okay, it looks like we got those plugs in there. Okay, so with the motors plugged in, you're going to want to screw the uh, top plate section to the bottom of the frame. Alright, so the flight controller and motors are now attached. Okay, the next thing to do after uh, getting our frame back together, after plugging the motors in, is to uh, attach the propellers to the motors. So, just put this down and uh, these props here. These are glow-in-the-dark props, which is interesting. And just as uh, you've got to pay attention to the way that you put the motors in, uh, with the clockwise and counterclockwise, you do as well with the props. And uh, kind of the way that I remember is 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 they kind of uh, this is the front of the quad here. The uh, propeller should kind of uh, scoop the air in towards the front and then the rear prop should scoop the air in towards the back so I'll put the this one here is scooping this way so put it on the front right okay one prop and find one that goes the opposite way here we are put it on there Here, this one is turning this way, scooping the air this way. So, putting it on here. And the last prop. Put it on there. Okay, good. All oh, these props. Okay, so now with the props on. I'll uh, try attaching a battery using a rubber band here. Let's put this battery through the rubber band. Put this here in. And we have uh, some lights going on here. So now what I'll just do is grab the, grab the controller here and Try a quick flight over here in the forest. Oh, yeah. So now we know, uh, yeah, everything is uh, ready to go, and the next thing that we can do is attach the camera. Okay, got the wire in the position I want it to be. Plug the wire into the camera. Okay, now I'm just going to get uh, from that other half of the double-sided uh, sticky tape here. It's going to kind of cut a little bit of it off to make it a bit skinnier. Not too much. Cut it a little more than the width of the camera. Okay. Take 
falling off here. But, uh, so just stick the tape or the foam on the front. And then stick the camera right on the foam. And that's basically uh, basically all there is to it. You can stick a uh, rubber band uh, as an extra precaution around it to keep the camera in place. Just test the uh, power is going to the camera by plugging the battery in. I can see the uh, see the camera's lights going on. That's uh, very good. So it should all be good. Get this battery out here. So now the final step is to just take the battery out of here. Is to take the humble Q-tip that uh, I mentioned as an optional step and uh, kind of cut the cotton part of it off and make it into a shaft that's about the length of the antenna. So it doesn't even have to be the whole length of the antenna, just enough to kind of keep it straight. And take that little tube and slide it onto the antenna here. And boom, we've got uh, something that's going to make sure that our antenna stays straight, which uh, should increase our uh, reception. So here we have it, the uh, completed uh, a little uh, reframing of uh, the uh, Yashin E011 or the uh, JJRC H67. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching and uh, be sure to subscribe and click like.